Welcome to Katie's Kitchen, y'all. We're making cake pops. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. So, today I am making cake pops, my world famous cake pops. I do them every year for my nephew's birthday. So tomorrow's his birthday party and I'm starting now. What you're gonna need, you obviously need the cake crumbs. You need a tub of frosting, could be any frosting, whatever you want. I'm doing vanilla cake, so I just got vanilla frosting. Um, you're gonna need candy melts, and actually, I can put those in the warmer now. Get some candy melts, and these are gonna be Fortnite B Bucks cake pops. I've never done them before, but I'm a cake pop professional. Like, I do this, this is my thing. <laughs> Um, so for that we do need some blue icing, some white icing to carve out the B and all of that. Um, you're going to need these cake pop sticks. I got all this at Michael's, except for this, I got this at Target I believe, I don't know. And then you'll need a little bit of Crisco, I'll show you where. And since they don't have gray candy melts. They have all kinds of colors there, but they don't have gray, so I have to put some black food coloring in it. And we'll see if it works, y'all. First things first, you need to make the cake, and I already did that. Um, and I just used like Betty Crocker. So, um, basically, once you bake the cake, you need to crumble it. So here's my cake, part of it, here's the other one, or other part. And you just need a large mixing bowl for this part and take off your jewelry. Cause ain't nobody want jewelry in there. So here we go. So basically, I like to take off these, like the crust pretty much because you don't want, sometimes whenever you're forming the cake balls, the crust will get, like, cause it to fall apart. So it's just easier, the smoother you can. You can even, you can do that way. Sometimes I just like, go like this. And you pretty much just wanna crumble it all until you got crumbs. Just keep crumbling, just keep crumbling. <laughs> the lighting is probably gonna look all kinds of crazy right now because the sun's setting. Next step, so you take your icing and you just grab a scoop. Start off like not with a lot of icing and you're gonna just chunk it in there and mix it. And you gotta mix it with your hands. You gotta get in there. You gotta get in there. <laughs> like you just have to. And I just kinda like eyeball it however much I need. Shame. Okay, so now it's all in there, so you you just gotta mix it, girlfriend. Don't be scared. Get your hands dirty. That's what you do when you're working in the kitchen. You gotta get in there and get them hands dirty. And you just wanna basically get it to a consistency where it starts to form together. Um, just make sure you mix it all. Get all the crumbs. Don't be shy now. So now that you've got it to, you'll get to this consistency and you want to form, like once you know, once you see that it forms a ball and it'll stay, that should be pretty good. Basically, once you get it to a ball and it starts to form, you're good to go. So this is a pretty good cons like consistency. The ball sticks. Good. All right. Now, what I did not do, I was not prepared because I don't have my wax paper and all that ready. Okay. So I didn't, so make sure you have this preset. So I just have like a cookie sheet and wax paper. And while, before you do that, go ahead and start melting your candy melts. Okay. Bad boys. And just throw them in. 
Oh my gosh. I know y'all thinking I'm wasting all these crumbs, but I'm not. You get to eat it. <laughs> and what you want to do is once it starts melting, that is where we will utilize the Crisco, what's this called? I don't know what I called it earlier, but it's shortening. But while that's melting, we'll check on it in a second. We are going to start forming the cake balls. So just form them into some balls. But for this, these particular ones, I think we need them a little bigger because a bee buck, they're like pretty much a coin. And then I'm gonna smush it a bit. The stick, make it thick enough where the stick will, won't like go through. So we'll try that. These are not your ordinary cake pops, y'all. Chocolate has pretty much melted. You can see the consistency. That's actually not bad, but I like to add in like a little dash of the shortening just so like you're gonna wanna do it because otherwise the candy is really thick and you don't want that. This just kind of makes it fall off of the candy pop when you start mixing it in. Um, yeah, so just stir that in, it'll melt as well. And then you'll kind of see the difference here in a bit once it's stirred in, um, as far as the consistency. Okay, so this is a pretty good consistency. It really just falls like butter. Okay, so now we are going to mix and create gray. So obviously I didn't look up how to make gray and adding black to white makes purple. So we're gonna go with it. Just if you're gonna make gray, look it up because obviously you need more than black. <laughs> anyway. So next step, you dip your cake stick or lollipop stick, whatever they are. I think they're actually lollipop sticks. sticks. And you're gonna take your cake pop and stick her right in. Just a good amount. Um, and you'll just do that a couple of times. Dunker. Dunker. Tapper. <laughs> Just tap your hand lightly to take off the excess chocolate. And this is a, this is like the time consuming part and it does kind of suck, but we'll have beautiful cake pops at the end. Be good. Um, I have this cool little cake stand that my sweet husband made for me because I make world famous cake pops. Okay, so this is what they look like now that they're coated. Um, so I just need to let them dry for a bit. Nah, most of them are pretty much dry, like this one, I'm pretty sure is. Yeah. Um, and then we'll start the decorating process. Be back. Okay. So now the fun part. 
I'm gonna decorate these. And the way a bee butt looks like, I'll insert a picture here. Squeeze that puppy. Oh, this is one that you have to... <laughs> <laughs> Um, where's the scissors? No, I'm just going to do this U shape and take our white. This is just like Wilton. I don't even know. I think it's, yeah, it's cookie icing, but. We'll see how, how it goes. And just make a V. Oh, this is pretty good consistency here. I would highly recommend getting this one. <laughs> as long as it dries and doesn't droop. Oh, I messed that one up. All right, and that is your V buck. So we're just gonna finish these off. Ooh, it does drip. I don't recommend this one. <laughs> Cause it drips. And then I'm actually just gonna pipe it. I don't got no pipa. So I got a sandwich bag and put the frosting in it. And I'm just using the same frosting that I used earlier from mixing it in the crumbs. We're gonna pipe it. You can just see like the beads on the tripod. Beautiful. That is a bee book. Okay. So you're just gonna do that like a hundred more times. <laughs> Boom. All right guys, that was it. That was the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was the Fortnite V-Bucks cake pops. So yeah, enjoy and I'll see y'all next video. Bye y'all.